Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you this You Are So Amazing card. Let's get started. To kick things off, we're going to be using some of the smaller stamps from So Very Mice and How You Been button add-on. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place them every which way on the panel here and even if they come off the edge it's not a big deal because we're going to be creating our own pattern paper for the background. So first I'm going to ink up all of these stamps in the Sunflower Mini Ink Cubes. I don't own any of the bigger pads so we will be doing a bit of the Mini Ink Cubes which I kind of find nice for small images like this but for bigger images it's a little more challenging. So once we've inked that up in the sunflower, we will go in with some plastic filingo and some fish tank. So once we've done that, we'll set that off to the side. And then next we have stamped out two of the mice from the So Very Mice stamp set. And I've gone ahead off camera and stamped and cut out the center of the little embroidery hoop here for the mouse because we're going to do a little bit of stamp masking. And... I actually had to do this a couple of times because I kept screwing up the final product. <laughs> like when I went to die cut everything out and I just, I kept getting it off center. And I'm one of those people that if it's slightly off center, it's not a big deal. But if it's totally off center, then I have a problem because I like that little white edge around everything. So this is probably my third time doing it. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're just taking the bigger button and stamping it inside the hoop. And you'll see here that some of it goes on the little full stick post-it note here. And then I'll wipe that off and put that off to the side. And that one was from the How You Been stamp set. And now we're going to grab the little tiny button from the Sew so Mice. And we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm just taking the little button, inking it up with some jet black Copic friendly black ink by Lawn Fawn and cleaning it off and then switching it over here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do the same thing for the other little mice, mouse, sorry, <laughs> with the embroidery hoop who is sewing. So here we'll peel that off and you can see what I've done. So here I've gone ahead and stamped everybody out, and we'll do the quick little peel and reveal. And we've gone ahead and die cut them out off camera. Now that one turned out fine, but for some reason I just could not get this even. And I'm here, I'm showing my friend Jamie from Inky and Scrappy, because while I was recording this, we were actually crafting together. Well, I was crafting, she was cleaning her craft space and being a good girl where I was not. So what she had suggested was I take the negative that I had already cut out and I line this thing up um, to my image so I know exactly where I need to cut. Now mind my head, you probably see a lot of my funny colored hair in here because I'm still adjusting to my new mat. <laughs> so here I'm just lining everything up and once I'm happy with that I'll take my low tack tape and hold everything down and here I'm just showing her see look did I do it right and she's like yes yes you did so now if this doesn't work I'm totally blaming her so you see me point that way I'm pointing at my other camera <laughs> so I pull this apart and we pull off everything and boom look at that so much more nicer than what I was doing so here I'm showing her the difference and she's giving me her utmost approval which I was appreciative of so I'm going to take this this guy right here and I'm going to set him into the packaging so I have them for later if I need to but you can see how I off-centered it and that little bit kind of helped so next up we have a bit of coloring if you want to skip out through this that's fine um, these are all the colors that I will be using for all of the images in this card. Uh, I have a few other images that I do not show on camera that I colored because, I don't know, these guys were kind of the star of the show for me because I really liked how the buttons turned out. It's almost kind of, I don't know, it, it's, it's like they're kind of psychedelic or something. I don't know what it is about buttons and... 
I, I mean, I have a small collection of buttons, and I've got buttons all over the house in various places because I can never throw out a button. I don't know what it is. It's, it's something I could never do. Like, even my mom, growing up, she would get, like, a new sweater or a coat, and usually she had uh, really good taste for the different styles, and they always had some really exotic buttons on them. I mean, exotic for me, because most of them were just super fancy, but... I, you know, she would always save me the extra buttons that you would get on the inside of your sweater or your coat or your shirt or even some of the beads that she would have on her on her thing. So, yeah, I kind of digress. I like buttons. I think buttons are neat. Um, yeah, I have a small collection, and I've never done anything with them. They just sit there like a lot of my other stuff. But then again, you know, that's kind of what crafters do. They collect stuff. And it's not necessarily something that they would consider using because, like, much like patterned paper, it's so pretty you don't want to use it, so you end up hoarding it and collecting it, and then before you know it, it's like you've got 20 million pads of paper, either in 6x6 or 12x12, all over the place, and you just can't bring yourself to use them until one day you decide to try to, and then it's a big struggle because most of them are double-sided. <laughs> I know I've brought this up before, but it's it's much like my buttons. I can't use my buttons much like beads and pattern paper. And <laughs> Anyway, so here we are bringing in the purple from the challenge. I didn't have any um, purple ink by Lawn Fawn that I could use. Uh, so I kind of pulled in this V12, and I tried to match it as best as I could to the purple border that I'll be putting on my card. And then next here, we've got a little bit of purple amethyst. This is the Fine Tech Iridescent. No, not sorry, not iridescent. This one's the Pearlescent. And we're just going to do a little bit of splatter all over the background here. And then once I'm satisfied with how much of the pearl, we're going to go in with the iridescent in the amethyst. So what I've got here is just some more splatter, just to kind of give it a little bit more shimmer and sparkle and some prettiness and once I'm happy with that we're going to let this dry off to the side. So once we've let that dry it's time to assemble. So I've got all these little pieces here and I mean this was kind of a struggle to figure out how I wanted to put this together. I think the whole conversation with Jamie was proper layout and we went back and forth on a couple of different ideas and then she had to go and leave me to my own demise instead of telling me how to live my life which I really much appreciated and this is what I came up with <laughs> so I've gone ahead and stamped and colored out a few of the little spools of thread here which I think are absolutely adorable because truth be told I have a little tattoo of a spool of thread with a needle and at one point, I was really into sewing, you know, my own clothes. Well, not from scratch, but modifying a lot of the clothes that I had. And uh, that was something I really enjoyed doing in my 20s. And then it kind of was crocheting and all things crafty. And when I came across paper crafting uh, just over a year ago, this was it. This was, this was perfect because these little projects are like, you can get them done in one sitting. Unless you get stumped and you got to come back to it, or you get fed up and it goes into the maybe later pile. But I really like card making. I think it's a lot of fun and it's it, it's satisfying because you don't have to spend hours on it. Like I tried to paint and if I couldn't get it done in the night, I probably wouldn't go back to it. So once we've got that done, we are going to add on our little card panel here to the purple. Um, cardstock. This is just uh, Recollections brand 110 pound cardstock that I'm using for this because it's the only purple I had and I didn't have any purple Lawn Fawn paper, which I did, but it is what it is. That's what you see for all the purple. So here's how the card layout is going to be. I'm going to use my grid mat to kind of eyeball where it is that I need to go. And then that way I can glue everybody down. So I'm just going to take some easy tape runner and carefully go along that line. And then I'll just add a string of glue here just to make sure that everything stays stuck down. 
and then I'll use my reverse tweezer to pick it up, and I'll just go ahead and use my fat fingers because this one's pretty easy. Now the glue doesn't immediately adhere the tape until I push it right down, but it gives that, that extra stick if I need to, and I don't really have to wait for the glue to dry because you've got that sticky adhesive. So again, I'm double taping everything, or double sticking, I should say. So once I'm happy with the placement of my little mice, my mouse, sorry, <laughs> singular, not plural, we are going to add in a little bit of some 0.8 white jelly roll pen. Now I still have not gotten myself a new white gel pen. I am still in the market to find one, but I've been lazy and I haven't really been looking. The last time I went to Michael's, I think I ended up buying something other than a white pen. I think I bought cardstock or something like that. Oh yeah, I did. I bought some cardstock that I needed because you can never have enough cardstock, right? <laughs> so once I've done the black glaze pen for the eyes, we are going to set that off to the side to dry. Oh, no, wait. We got to put in a little bit of Wink of Stella on that yellow because it is so cute. And then why not put in some for the thread because glittery thread is really nice. So once I'm all done that, I'll add in a little bit for the button centers. And yeah, I think that's good. Oh, but you don't want to forget this guy right here. Now, this guy's going to go on the inside. I wanted to put him on the front of the card to create more of the scene, but I figured, you know, maybe I should put him on the inside. No, just kidding. <laughs> It was Jamie. She's like, you have too much on your card. Maybe you should throw them on the inside. And I'm one of those people who never really consider putting anything on the inside because most of my cards I leave blank on the inside. So that way, whoever happens to buy them can put their own little messages on the inside. I just worry about the outside. And, you know, maybe this year I should be worried about the inside just to make them a lot more fun. So once I'm satisfied with where I want these scissors, I'm going to glue them to the front of my card and that'll complete the front. So I think I, I, I'm, I'm quite pleased about how I, I put this together. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a crafty friend chat with me for the duration of this card because I initially started it the night before and then had to walk away from it because it got too late and I got too tired and I just wasn't having it. So sometimes you gotta walk away. So next up we are going to take the sentiment to the inside and I thought about just stamping it all out in the jet black ink because I still had it out on my desk. But then I thought, you know, Maybe maybe I should carry on with the inside of the card from the outside. Like bring the outside to the inside. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the first part of the sentiment for the inside of the card and I'm going to line that up. And then I'm going to pull out all of my inks again because I actually put them away. <laughs> so here we're going to take some of the yellow uh, sunflower ink and we're going to stamp out You Mean and then we'll clean that off, and then we'll put so much in blue, and then I love you in pink. So here we go with the glue again, and we're going to take the little finished embroidered, um, embroidered hoop, embroidery hoop, embroidery hoop with the mouse, and the extra pair of scissors to tie the front in with the inside, and there. Here we have my finished card on the outside, and here we have the finished card on the inside. I really hope that you enjoyed today's card, and as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.